Let's bring you to Middleborough now. And the Middleborough Police Department bringing us the latest on a double murder we'll take there. a couple of questions with me today is uh, Plymouth County District Attorney Tim Cruz. Today at approximately 6.30 a.m., the Middleborough Police Department responded to 3 Highland Street in Middleborough to check on the well-beings of individuals who failed up who failed to show up for work. As a result of the well-being check, two individuals, a male and a female, were discovered deceased inside the home. At this time, we are withholding the names of the victims pending positive identification and family notification. Shortly after discovering the victims, the Middleborough Police Department made contact with and arrested Ryan True, 21 of 3 Highland Street in Middleborough and arrested him. He was charged with two counts of murder and is currently being held in custody here at the Middleborough Police Station. We will release the names of the victims later today upon positive ID in the completion of family notification. I'd like to give a, a quick thanks to the members of the Middleborough Police Department who uh, responded and quickly resolved this situation and placing the subject under arrest. And I'd like to reassure the community that this was not a random act of violence and they have uh, no reason to fear uh, living in the community of Middleborough. Question. <laughs> there, is a, there is a relation, but right now, uh, pending uh, positive ID, we're not going to comment on, on, the, on the relation that the suspect has with the victims. Chief, can you just talk about how difficult these calls are for your department? I would assume it's pretty tough to walk into something like that. Um, it is um, being, you know, one officer on the shift being called to, you know, possibly go to help someone to check their well-being and walking into a situation like that is very troublesome and traumatic for the officers themselves as well. Can you talk about the, uh, the subject was not at the scene. Uh, we had a short uh, investigation that led uh, led us to him, and he was placed under arrest. How was he arrested? Can you talk, talk a little Uneventful. There were no uh, uh, there were no issues involved in the arrest. It was peaceful, and like I said, uneventful. He arrested he at the house. Arrested. He was not arrested at the residence. Where was he arrested? In? Uh, again, I'm, I'm not going to comment on that right now, but it was not at the residence. He is a resident of Three Highland? He lives at Three Highland. Did he give any statements? Uh, I'm not going to comment on any statements he might, may or may not be making. Have you been there before? I'm not going to comment on previous calls for service if there were any. What brought you to the scene again? Uh, you said uh, late. What time was it? Missing? About 6.30 this morning. Co-workers called because one of the uh, possible victims had not shown up for work. That morning? That morning, yes. So what time are they supposed to be at work? I, I, again, I don't know. Right. And so then your officers have arrived at the scene, and can you just kind of take us through? They, they, did, they have, did they have to break into the How did they get into the house, and where did they find the victim? Uh, as a result of some observations made at the scene, the sergeant on shift made the determination to uh, force entry into the home and discover the crime. Because where the victims were located? I'm not going to discuss facts, particulars of, of the crime scene. Were, they, were, the, were the victims shot? I'm not going to discuss particulars of the crime scene. I would leave that. I would turn that over to District Attorney Tim Cruz. Thanks, Chief. I'm not going to be in a position to add too much more than that, other than to say that obviously this is a tragic and horrifying situation. For, for obviously the family of the decedents and also here in the town of Middleburg, which is a, a, a beautiful little community, and this does not happen here very often, uh, fortunately. So right now as we sit here, we have an individual who's in custody. The individual's either going to be uh, arraigned today or tomorrow, depending upon when they can get him to court as, as pertains to the issues we're dealing with COVID right now. Uh, and hopefully that be, will be today rather than tomorrow. Uh, and I want to also, like the chief said, I would commend the Middleborough Police, I would commend the Massachusetts State Police who are here in force uh, doing the normal investigation. And that's part and parcel as to why we're in a position where we don't have any answers as of yet, because we have a job to do. It's an ongoing uh, job that must be done thoroughly and appropriately, and that takes time, and that's what they're doing right now. Can you give us all the sense of what the circumstances were? Was this an argument? Anything that led up to it? Yeah, we're not really going to be in a position to tell you exactly what happened as of yet. At the arraignment, we'll have more information that we're going to be able to detail uh, in open court and that may, you may be able to extrapolate what occurred from there. But obviously, 
Uh, a 20-year-old man is in custody. This is a, a, a terrible situation for his family. It's a terrible situation for the community. And the police are going to do their very best to make sure that we get in front of this and make sure we uh, you know, dot all our I's and cross all our T's.